Hello my beautiful badgers, Messi Coda back again with another asset store review. This time it is the Abandoned Factory Buildings Pack from Scans Factory that's available for HDRP for Unity. That's right, Unity. Not Unreal. This is beautiful. Even though this is available on the Unreal Marketplace, this is also now over on Unity. Normally $80, 50% sale down to $40. Get it while you can because the sale is running out. Sit back, enjoy, and I'll see you all in a second. I'm creeping about inside the abandoned factory buildings from Scans Factory over the Unity Asset Store. You gotta be quiet because we don't know who could be lurking in the shadows of this beautiful photogrammetry uh, pack that's over on the Unity Asset Store and on Unreal as well. It's on the Unreal Marketplace. It's a beautiful pack. You get two main scenes, which is day night scenes of, of this outside uh, this factory. And then you've got another scene with all the props laid out. We're going to play about with that in a moment. You've got a selection of these uh, walls here. And some have got holes in them where you can have the doors. And some of them are just one plane with, uh, with the doors built into them. So that if you wanted just to have the, the, this wall here with this door put into here, uh, saving yourself some polys, well, there you go. Jobs are good. And if you want to have this door as a separate object, and you want to open it and close it, then you can do it as well. One other thing you might notice of these is that you've got to fix your colliders yourselves, otherwise you are going to be flying over things. So I did that as well when I was playing about it. It's a beautiful pack, I have to say. I'm really scratching my head of what use would I, what would I do in an abandoned factory. What I love about these buildings is that take out any of the modern elements and they're timeless. You can actually go back to victorian era industrial revolution you could easily have these bricked buildings because that's what that's what they were like back then um obviously you have got to, to change your doors for these as wooden doors not big metal doors with danger um nay ni dol cads uds radizi electrocozy no you can't have any of that now on the unreal marketplace they've got a lot more assets i mean is there's, a, there's a lot more in this set over on Unreal. Um, on Unity, they've only got two assets. Let's pop into the other scene. Here we are inside the daylight scene. I've thrown in the starter controller from Unity so we can have him running around. And it feels a bit like the Unreal demo with the Unreal controller flying and running around as well, which I will load up in a moment to show you. In the daylight, we can really see these textures come alive and they're popping and they do look beautiful. I mean, look at that. It looks stunning. It really does. The bricks, I, I flip and flip between, you know, I like them, and then I'm thinking, oh, are they too sharp or or not? Really, you can play about with the blur on the camera to, to, to hide that when you mush your face right up against them. But generally, my feeling is that these bricks actually look better and more realistic in Unity than they do in Unreal. I know blasphemy for some. The only gripe that you get in this pack versus the Unreal one is that you don't get the interiors. So in the Unreal one, I could walk up to here and go through and there's a room and I can cut through here to the other part of the demo scene uh, if I wanted as well, which I can't seem to be doing in this demo on the Unity one, which is a shame because it doesn't really much make any sense to me while I can't do that. Um, other than that, you know what? This demo scene is lovely. Do not flip the demo, please. Do not flip the demo. Okay, that would be appreciated. Well, I'm going to tell you that it looks beautiful. I mean, even this thing's look, look at these touches where you get the scum on the pipes. It's lovely. And I can jump up here and see these buildings and see the world. And it does look stunning. Look at that. Look at that view. And as you look down here, you can see those um, tracks there that you they would have the, the trams or whatever, the, the train carts coming in, depositing their heavy loads. You want to put something up here to stop people from climbing up, like you know, or, or if you're going to obviously be doing your scene, you're going to be. You've got enough roofage and these kind of brick buildings up here to be able to have uh, upper upper levels. But oh, look here! See, this is one-sided. Can you see that there? See that? It's one-sided there. So he doesn't really expect people to be climbing up on roofs. But hey, if you put me a collider, I'm going to climb it. 
And I really have an Assassin's Creed vibe going up here. Industrial Revolution Assassin's Creed game. And look at these windows. Stunning. Really is beautiful. I love being up here. This is a view that we can get while we're up here. See those pipes as they go across as well. Okay, should we do a superhero landing? Let's. Superhero landing! Look at the textures on the ground. Look at that. That is beautiful. This pack is huge. You don't realize it, but the more you play with it, the more things you notice. It's like here. Look at that. Two different types of ground there. And then you've got the, the steps. You've got a lot of these kind of pallets and bricks and things and the dustbins. Dustbins are great. The only gripe you've got with the dustbins is you've got to put colliders on and fix the collider. So, like, I fixed the collider here, and now you can actually go inside it. Original collider looks like this. So, yeah, just a bit of effort. Put collider in there, optimize it, make sure it works. But this is this is a beautiful, beautiful, and HDRP, how you can just throw something in now and not even have to touch it. If HDRP takes care of it for you, stunning. And the smoke and the fog. Look at that. Well, let's pop inside Unreal. There we are inside Unreal. It's got the Unreal controller running around. Um, and oh look, see, oh we've got we've got some shenanigans here on that part. Look there. Did not know. Didn't we didn't get those shenanigans inside the Unity run? Oh, oh dear. Oh, well. How does it mean the lighting wise? HDRP post processing. Do you know what? I'm going to say it felt a little bit more natural in the Unity one in HDRP than it does in Unreal. Very dark in here. This is the interior. Very dark. If you look carefully, these walls for the interiors, just factory interior walls, can be very easily done for the exteriors as well. So this is Unreal versus uh, what it was like inside Unity. Bricks here. Hmm. I'm thinking I preferred the I preferred the inside Unity actually, how they were rendered in Unity. To and then look at those those colors there pop out more. These these colors here are popping out more inside Unreal. Now, have we got the same shenanigans? Look at that. We got the same shenanigans here as we did in the other one. Never mind. Woo! He likes, he likes woo! Flying, doesn't he? Look at him. He loves flying about. Now, how high can this. How high can you go? Look, this guy can jump up here. There we go. Look at him. Looks beautiful. It's still very sharp. Uh, where was that moss that we discovered? Uh, playing about with. Here's something over here. Over here. Now, what do you think? What, what, what do you think between Unreal and Unity? What do you think of the two? I'm, I'm going to say that everyone going about how beautiful Unreal is. HDRP more than easily holds its own against Unreal in looking pretty, especially with the lighting and the post processing that it has built in. I think, I yeah, I mean, some of the colors here in Unreal are popping up, but I'm putting that down to how the post processing and the and the uh, and the scene was set up for the Unity version versus the Unreal one. We could tweak that ourselves. And just make the colors a little bit more vibrant in the Unity one. As I said, I managed to get this for free on Unreal as one of those monthly things, which was awesome. Um, lovely thing is imagine real. So here, this put like a wall here. Can't we can't get through because there's an invisible wall. That's what we needed to do in the Unity version. Generally, I'm thinking that the Unity port of this pack is really nice. I would like the interior just to be added in because it's he's had the update and the unity to allow for the interiors but we just don't get see here over here we've got this interior the lighting's not done great in this in this demo to be honest you need to put a light in there so we can actually see what the interior is what do you got what do you, what's in here uh, and as we come through it cuts through to the other side 
if we pop back inside U uh, unity we can see what that's like as well there we go look see just it'd be nice to have those opened up in the unity version because currently they're not that's my one grape my one grape there we go we found we found a grape and there it was and here we are the demo scene with everything laid out it is big i'm not sure if this is everything laid out including with the at editions um so that'd be good to know for sure here's the bits from the roof windows different types of windows broken here's the doors i was telling you about you can have them separated so you can open them up um the door textures close up aren't fantastic from you know just going to tell you that now looking at that so there's a problem i find with a lot of the photo scan stuff that it's great for nature but uh like this we would you, you need to touch this so yeah I mean, look at that that is Hey, see that part there? That looks nice. And um, how does all that work? How do you do all this stuff? <laughs> That's what I want to know. You got the walls here with the glass. I would. That's, it'd be nice if these windows here were separated, but you never see that with the actual separated, separated windows. Um, you hardly ever see that, unless it's a full external interiors pack. Oh, that's nice with the bricked in. That's nice. Yes, that's that's good. I like that. That's very nice. So you got these versions here with this little door there, big one there, opened up so you can actually put a doorway. You can put a different door. See, I would put this as Victorian and then put wooden doors from other packs in this. You don't have to be using his doors in here. There we go, we've got windows. Oh, we have got version with the windows open. Nice. Look at that. Version with the I asked for it and he delivered. Version with the windows open. Oh, lovely. Different bricks on here. Tall one. There we go. Look at that. Version with the window in, version with the window out. Lovely. Okay, so look. I I wanted something and I got it. Which is nice. Ooh, little decorations up there. You can look, look, everything's one sided on there. Massive collection. Any with those pre made interiors? No. Any pre made interior? No. It would be nice to get some pre made interiors in there. Open up to all windows. Look at that, it's lovely. It's exactly what I was asking for, and he's got it. Look at that. There was me going, you hardly ever see that. He went and gave me a treat. A little treat. There. What a surprise. Oh, look, here we go. We've got an interior. So, why isn't that in the other demo scene? It's here. We've got an interior here. Why isn't that in the other demo scene? That's odd. That is very odd. This one doesn't have one. But it's not odd how, you know, he's got it in here, but he hasn't got it in the other scene. Ooh, so here you would put the other walls or whatever. Not sure why why this is done like this, but okay. Uh, is this another interior? Yeah, look. Is that an interior one? No, it's just that the door's missing. I don't know. Could be? No, it's just because the door's missing. The other one was a proper interior. Loaded collection of pre-mates. Oh, bit of a uh, bit of debris there, some planks, concrete. Here we go. We've got an interior. Yeah, look, this is the one from the Unreal. This is exactly how it was in the Unreal scene. Why has he put it in? It's got them here. Maybe, maybe it's going to come very soon in the next update. That would be nice if it does. But look at that. Load of collection of pre-made buildings. Load of collection of the building parts. And then we've got more building parts over here it's loads is the is the uh, garage doors more decorated decorated bits of wood corner bits here the corner lives that's nice 
background drop here and clear the roofage good bit of roofage going on can't say no to a bit of roofage me and the glass so what do I think of this pack well you know what on a 50% sale it's a no brainer if you're doing a factory um, then I'm not sure you're going to get many better assets for a factory on the asset store if you do like and you want to see more of these types of videos let me put my teeth in and you can tell all of your friends random people on the street that the messy coder is playing about in a factory it's not so scary when the lights are turned up if you do like it click it till next time if you want to see more of my crazy videos click on the left side of your screen now and down below there's that big juicy subscribe button and right next to it is the magic bell that if you click it it will tell you if I've got a new video coming out. Till next time.